Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on application of triple integration. So this is our question. Find the volume of ellipsoid. Find the volume of ellipsoid x square upon a square plus y square upon b square plus z square upon c square equal to 1. So here we are given the ellipse in 3D. In 2D, our equation of ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1. So here we have z square plus upon c square equal to 1. So it is an ellipsoid. So ellipsoid looks like something like this it is similar to our ellipse but it is in three dimensional so we will have so it is similar to ellipse but it is in three dimensional so this is our ellipse three dimensional ellipse so now we have to find the volume of this ellipse so what we are going to do we are going to consider only first octant that is the positive part of the x y and z axis so this is our first octant Okay, so if we see from the top, we will get this part. Okay, since this is above, so because so we have to find the volume of the ellipsoid, and in th this is an ellipse, three dimensional ellipse. So we have to find the volume of this. So what we are going to do, we are going to find the volume of only one part. Like consider this as a uh, sphere. We can cut sphere into eight parts. Okay, uh, so in the first octant, we will have only one part. So in similarly, we can cut this ellipse into eight parts and we will find the limits for only one part okay so this is our one part and this is the shadow of this ellipse in the xy plane because volume is area of base into height so we need the area of base so the base is something like this so if we draw the base base will be something like this okay this is x and this is y and to find the height height will be from this point till on the ellipse ellipsoid so this is an ellipse here we will use cylindrical polar coordinates so cylindrical polar coordinates is nothing but x equal a r cos phi so this ellipse is similar to sphere so here we will use spherical polar coordinates okay spherical polar coordinates so spherical polar coordinate have substitution x equal to r sin theta cos phi here we have r sin theta cos phi but because it is an ellipse so we multiply by a then we have y equal to r sin theta sin phi here we have b square so we multiply by b then we have z equal to r cos theta here we have c so we multiply by c so these are the basic substitution then dx dy dz will be r square sin theta into a b c into dr d theta d phi so this is the basic substitution so what is volume volume is nothing but triple integration into this part okay so this is our volume but we are considering only first part so this ellipse will have eight parts but we are finding the limits for only one octant so we will multiply this volume by eight okay so now we need the limits for r theta and phi r is starting from this point and ending on the sphere so r is going from 0 to r equal to what is r equal to a we have to do this substitution in this equation so when we substitute x equal to this term y equal to this term c equal to this term we will get r square equal to 1 we get r equal to 1 r equal to 1 is nothing but equation of ellipse in spherical polar coordinates